Huh. Now why can't I turn my headlights on? Off. On. But they're still off. Not even the parking lights. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today we're going to try to figure out why I can't turn my WJ headlights on in the daytime and why I can't turn them off at nighttime. I think it might have something to do with this WJ headlight switch. We're going to replace that and hopefully it'll fix the problem. If not, maybe it'll narrow it down. But first, let's take a little closer look at what's going on in here. All right, let's start the Jeep and then we'll turn on the headlights. There we go. Now, it's in off right here. We should be able to just click them on and then they should go on. But as you can see, they are off in the daytime. Now, it's nighttime and I can't turn them off. <laughs> look at this. Look at that. Nothing. Brights work. Turn signals work. Even the fog lights work. But I can't turn them off. So, no matter what I do, they're stuck on at night and they are off in the day. I think it might have something to do with the automatic function. Now, I know the automatic function works because it's on at night and off in the day. I actually first noticed this issue in the winter when I was trying to shovel snow off the Jeep in the evening. There was nothing I could do to turn off the headlights while I was shoveling. I think it's only getting its signal through the auto feature, which leaves me to believe that the switch is busted and I can't take it off the automatic feature. Even though the turn signals work, and the fog lights work, and the brights work, something is messed up with this, but good thing I got a new one. So I'm gonna try to pop this one out, pop that one in, and while I'm at it, I had noticed that I'm missing the tilt lever. So I went ahead and I pulled the tilt lever from the yard. We're gonna put the new tilt steering lever in, and hopefully that'll fix everything in this area. Blah, 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 blah. All right, let's try to get in here. First thing we gotta do, I believe, is pop off this trim piece. Um, oh, there we go. I do reckon these are easier to take apart than XJs, which is shocking. I find that WJs in general are a little more complicated to deal with than XJs. Let's give ourselves some room down here. This should be 10 millimeter. One. Two. And of course, gotta get your stubby screwdriver with this little infamous screw. There we go. I think this just uh, pops out. The rest is held on by clips, so there we go. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. I got the aftermarket stuff in here. Uh. What is this? Look at this. Holy crap, I got a key in here. I wonder if this is a factory key to override the uh, skim. Oh, auto start. Chrysler key, look at that. I bet this key enables you to remote start the vehicle without getting shut down by the skim feature. Pretty cool. Uh, all right, I tried to uh, tape this up out of the way so at least it doesn't hang down on my feet when I'm driving. That's a disaster. And if you ask me guys, hacked wiring aftermarket crap is the number one reason for uh parasitic draw and or fires jeez but that's just my opinion anyway um jeez i wouldn't be surprised if this garbage isn't the reason for the headlight switch not working but we'll see we'll continue the plan and uh we'll go ahead and we'll take off this steering wheel shroud there's one phillips head screw in here Go ahead and remove this. I need two hands. <laughs> there we go. 
Got it. Thank you, Philip. I'm just gonna jimmy jam this off. Uh, I'm sorry, Doug. I'm stealing your words. Ugh. Dirty. Ugh. Tape hands, dirt hands. But this is coming off nicely. Look at that. There we go. We got our smart switch exposed. Pretty sure this is just two screws. Top. Bottom. This should just slide right out. Ew. Ew. My switch is leaking. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Look how wet this is. What is this? Well, that could be the problem right there. A wet switch? Is this oil? What is this? Grease? Come on. What is this? That's nasty. All right. Well, either way, we're unplugging this. Goodbye. All right. I'll put my switch on in a minute. First, let me take off of this part of the shroud so I could get to that tilt steering lever. Now, this is a T25. Fits in there nice with this little quarter inch ratchet. There we go. This is filthy, but it's off. And here, what is left of this thing? Wow, would you look at that in there, guys? The bolt was broken off. Well, that explains why it has no tilt steering anymore. Somebody ripped the lever right off the bolt. So maybe anger was an issue for the previous owner. We got angry, ripped this out, and was wet. An angry, wet person destroyed this WJ. All right, typical Dan H fashion. I decided to turn a 10 minute project into a 10 hour project. Oh boy, look what I did. So I dropped the steering column. I used the uh, 10 millimeter bolts, but it wasn't big enough. So I had to use the, uh, let's see, these little E, e bits, the reverse star. So I dropped this down even more. I removed the little frame so this could bend down a lot. I'm not going any deeper than that. I'm gonna try to make this fit. I wanna get this drill bit on here. It just cleared this, so I uh, shortened my bit. I actually cut my bit. This is a special tap and die bit, so I ruined the bit for this project. It better be worth it. This is, uh, let's see, it's a one, a one pitch thread by M6. So I'm gonna drill it out, I'll re-tap it, and then it'll be fixed, I hope. Here we go. We got about an inch in there. That's as far as I'm willing to go. Don't want to drill through and break anything else. So I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna tap this hole and then we'll get in our bolt. And here we go, this is what I'm using. This is a drill and tap set. Good old DeWalt from Home Depot. Comes with the drill bit that matches the tap so you don't mess it up. <laughs> I went ahead and I matched this set to the stock part. I guess as best as I could. I got myself the M6 threaded fastener. We'll go ahead and put this in. Right, add some more cutting oil. Fill that baby up. Tap this hole with limited resources. It's not the ideal working surface. We're gonna make the best of it. Hey, take a look at that. I got some nice threads in that hole, baby. So here's my bolt, and I got a couple washers, one metal and one plastic, because uh, we're gonna try to reduce some wear and tear. All right, let's go see if this works as good as I think it will. All right, I think I figured it out. Soak this thing full of Loctite so we could spin this thing without loosening the bolt. I think this goes, that's a hole right there. This must loop around here. There we go, like that. And come on. Come on, nut. Get up here. I mean, bolt. 
Jeez, I call my nuts bolts. All right. Smush that spring down. Sorry if my hand's in the way, guys. Springs are crazy. Gotta be ready for them. Don't want to over tighten. Haha, <laughs> yes. Well, there it is, guys. Rebuilt tilt steering. Look at that. Pretty cool. Everything functions as it's supposed to. I got my bolt, I got my spring. It's looped around the arm, drops right down here. And this is the hole for the shroud, so don't block that. And I'm gonna put everything back on. All right, steering column is back up. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Here we go. Let's get this headlight switch in. Which way does it go? Probably upside down, of course. Come on, let's see. Let's see if this does the trick. Plugged in. Let's power this baby up. Keys. Milo, get me the keys. Not the cheese. The All right, Jeep is on. Headlights are off. On. There we go. Headlights are on. Yeah, baby. Oop, come on. Come on. Let's do the fog lights for good measure. Headlights and fog lights. It works! It works! Hey, there you have it guys, all back together. Let's check this out one more time. Keys on. Headlights on. Hey, they work. Auto, now they go off. Perfect. Back to on. Heck yeah. We got that. We got tilt. <laughs> Excellent, guys. All right, only thing left to do is test this at night. See if we can turn the lights off in the dark time. The night is a very dark time for me. All right, guys, one more test. It's been a few hours. The sun has gone down. Let's start her up. Well, that's different. Lights didn't automatically go on. There we go. I can see in the Grievous. <laughs> we got the parking lights on. Let's go one step more. Headlights, oh yeah. And auto mode, hey. It's still on. Excellent. We got the fog lights on, let's take a look. Very cool, guys. Very cool. Beautiful evening, nice sunset, and a nice Jeep. That makes me happy. Let's just make sure all these other features work real quick. All right, turn signal. Turn signal. Excellent. And brights. There we go. And sadly, fog lights go off when you bright. <laughs> well, there's a sound I never heard before. 
the headlight warning chime. I could definitely do without that. Ugh. All right, that's gonna do it, guys. We did it. All right, guys, there we go. We got working WJ headlights. This is great, fully functional. Now I can turn them on in the daytime to show you guys my headlight video that I originally wanted to do today, but I couldn't show you if I fixed the headlights or not because I had no way of turning them on in the daytime. So, <laughs> got that out of the way. I'm glad I did. I like when things work. And also fixed the tilt steering wheel, which I didn't know I needed, but now that I have it, I love it. So, two things out of the way. This WJ is really coming along. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, really starting to like it, like driving it. And I like when things work. So yeah, stay tuned for a WJ headlight video coming soon. That's gonna do it. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next project. Peace. Ooh, the dimmer function works too. Nice. Ah. Uh -huh.